the BAFTAs have just taken place at the Royal Albert Hall in London and I'm going to be breaking down all the winners from 1917 to Joker and yeah basically analysing them and saying what I think about who won, what this could mean for the Oscars which I am also going to do a final predictions video on next week so stay tuned for that and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and like this video if you do enjoy it but without further ado I'm going to get into the nominations. I thought overall this was an interesting event. I think some of the winners uh you know really predictable and we knew we were going to win i think most of the winners actually uh but then some of them were surprising there was a few odd surprises here and there but overall it was an interesting event didn't agree with what some of the uh actors were saying uh you know in their political speeches or what have you uh but overall it was an interesting event and i enjoyed uh you know the winners and the people who respected the craft and enjoyed the event and won at the end of the day so i'm going to let you see the winners on screen now i'm going to post every single category of who won at the baftas i also leave a link in the description if you want to have a look for yourself and then after the winners stop appearing on screen i'm going to come back and analyze them so here are the winners from the baftas So that was the main list of winners from the BAFTAs tonight. I personally thought, as I said at the start of the video, I thought they were very, you know, predictable. Obviously, we had 1917 winning seven. I think we had Joker and Parasite both winning three. So, I mean, very predictable of who won. And, you know, the main awards went to 1917. I think, as I said, as soon as we saw that uh, 1917 won Best Director, uh, we, we knew it was going to win. I mean, obviously, 1917 and Parasite were really the only two uh, people who were, I think, had a great chance of winning. The other films had a chance. I, I think I wanted Joker to win, but you know, 1917 and Parasite were really, really picking up a lot of the awards, and you know, including with Parasite winning foreign film, and then obviously original screenplay. 1917 won Best Director, it won Best British Film. Uh, and then all the other technical categories so that really had the favoritism going into you know the best picture and I think it is a deserving winner I personally think there were a lot of films this year that were overlooked like The Irishman I mean I mean I know it's getting a lot of nominations but it didn't win anything The Irishman didn't even win one award and that is incredible I, th I thought personally the visual effects in The Irishman uh, were more groundbreaking thematically and visually than what we saw in 1917 so I was surprised that 1917 
2017 won special effects uh, over the Irishman. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's deserving to win for special effects. It's deserving to win for a lot of the categories it was in. So at the end of the day, I'm not really complaining. Uh, I think 1917 did deserve to win a lot of the awards. Um, I would have had other films win certain awards, as I said. I was also shocked the fact that Toy Story 4 didn't win animation. But yeah, some of the other awards, obviously the acting awards were very predictable. We had Joaquin Phoenix win, we had Rennie Zellweger, uh, Laura Dern, Brad Pitt. These four have won nearly every acting award in their given categories. So I think it's really locked for them at the Oscars now. I'd be completely and utterly shocked if someone uh, didn't win out of them four in the acting awards. Uh, I think really the only ones that are... I think the technical awards are definitely to play for at the Oscars because there's two or three films in each category uh, that have a good shot. I think Joker's in the top two or three in every category when it comes to technical awards. So it'd be interesting to see if that picks up, uh, you know, one or two that... Uh, or shocks in one or two that we don't really expect. Uh, but it was also interesting to see Joker win the casting award uh, considering it's the first casting award at the BAFTAs and I think that was really nice that they gave it to Joker because Joker really did cast every actor brilliantly. Uh, you know, you have one of the best performances of the decade in Joaquin Phoenix. Uh, you have Robert De Niro in there who's in a limited role but a very strong role, a very meaningful role, you know, and the, the cast overall in that film was just fantastic. Whether they're smaller actors, whether they're well known, I thought it was brilliant. So to see that win the first casting award was great. Uh, Parasite obviously winning foreign film, uh, as I said, and original screenplay. I think that's very deserving. Um, and, you know, it would be great to see if it wins at the Oscars. I think really, as I said, it's between 1917 and Parasite now when it comes down to the Oscars. I think... Um you know, the only two films that really have an outside chance, or maybe three, are Jojo Rabbit, Joker, and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I think they're the only wildcard films that have a chance. I think Parasite and 1917 are really, you know, ahead in this award game when it comes to the best picture. I think whoever wins best director, whether it's Bong Joon-ho or Sam Mendes, will also win best picture. And we've seen that a lot this award season. Whoever wins best director ends up winning best picture. I think there's only been one award show where that hasn't happened. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens. I think overall this show was good in terms of its winners and its nominees. And that's why I didn't agree with some of the speeches that the actors made. Uh, I, I think they deliver some of the best performances of the year, but I think their opinions on politics aren't great. And I think a lot of people around the world agree with that because, you know, you look at their ratings, you look at their show viewings, they're dropping. And people are just fed up of watching it now because they just hate being lectured to. Um, and that's something that I think we're seeing repeatedly over the years and over the award shows that come out. I think Ricky Gervais was one of the best hosts we've had in a while. He's entertaining, he says it how it is, and he gets on with it. And, you know, that's what we haven't really seen in the awards season this year. But, oh well, I think at the end of the day, the winners deserved winning, the nominees deserved being nominated, and it was a well, you know, all-around list this year of films, I thought. So, it was an interesting event. I want to hear what you guys have to say down below. Do you think the films that won tonight will win at the Oscars? Do you think it's a two-horse race between 1917 and Parasite? Let me know in the comments below. If you did enjoy this video, remember to smash that like button. Also, subscribe if you want to check out some of the other content I've been doing. I do all the award coverage and, you know, all the films that come out, movie news, movie reviews, and I will be covering the Super Bowl tomorrow if there's any, you know, trailers that I'm interested in covering, and then I will be doing a final Oscar nominations, uh, sorry, final Oscar predictions video, uh, which should be coming uh, early on th this week. So, let me know down below what you think. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I've been Cortex, and as always, make some noise.